For a given process instance, you can easily retrieve from your app that instance's attributes. Remember, attributes are data defined for a process to indicate key characteristics, and they are used with process visibility. In the description, we'll leave a link to our recent Deptoberfest session about process visibility. In our process, we defined a few attributes based on the process inputs and the form outputs. In our app, when an instance is clicked, a hidden container will display and should show all that instance's attributes. We already defined a page variable to hold the attributes, defined generically as a list of objects so it can handle whatever attributes the process defines. In the logic for tapping the icon list item, we'll first get the ID of the process that was tapped. This lets us open only the container for the tapped instance. Then, again in the new process area, we'll drag in a get process attributes flow function. We'll set it to our process and specify the instance ID we want. The output will set to our instance attributes variable and we'll create a toast message in case something goes wrong. Run the app, click the first instance, and now the attributes are displayed. There is also a retrieve logs flow function, which works pretty much the same way and which returns all the steps that occurred in the process. Two nice touches in the app, we use a function for the color of each attribute shown in a row, including the isOdd function, so each odd row is colored gray. And the hidden container for each instance is displayed if the current ID is equal to that instance's ID.